Hi. I feel like I've ever so slightly missed the boat a bit with this video. All of my favorite creators on YouTube released their Christmas wishlist video around the 24th or 25th of November, which is perfect because it's one month to go until Christmas. So it's close enough to start talking about it, but also gives you enough time if you want to add those things to your list or buy them for others. So I'm sorry that this is a few days late, but it's just been so busy. Like I just feel like this time of year is crazy. I also feel like I have so much to achieve before I go away. I'm going away for Christmas and New Year with my boyfriend's family. This is actually my third Christmas away from home and my family and like it breaks my heart like it's really sad to be away from them I have a really big family I am one of eight my dad has four kids with my mum and four kids with my stepmom and with my four little half sisters we still do Santa so it's still really exciting and it's just a lovely day it's really the only time of year when all of us are all together at once and I'm letting the team down for the third year in a row and it makes me feel really sad but I feel like it's just part of growing up I've been lucky enough to be invited on my boyfriend's family Christmas holidays last year we were in Tulum in Mexico I did a little to learn lookbook vlog so if you want to see what we kind of got up to on that trip you can go and watch that after this video and we're going to Argentina but I just feel like there's a lot to do between now and then I've got loads of like presents to buy for people um, people to just see and lots of like Christmas plans and yeah works busy there's just a lot going on but this video is my Christmas wish list you might want to use it as inspo for things to ask for for yourself or add to your wish list you might find it's inspiration for gifts to buy for others also maybe you get some money on Christmas day and you want to treat yourself to something that you've seen in this video I have been working on this list for a few weeks now it started off just as like a things that I've been bookmarking things I want to buy for myself but now we're so close to Christmas it's all going on my Christmas wish list don't really know who's going to buy me anything from this list it's kind of just like an imaginary list and like my boyfriend and I usually get each other gifts and then we're doing secret Santa with his siblings on the trip his mum usually gets us a few little things which is very sweet to open like on Christmas day yeah so this is just basically an imaginary Christmas wish list but if anyone wants to send me anything from this list you know where to find me just slide into my DMs you can give me a little Christmas present I won't mind okay let's get into it my boyfriend and I have already bought each other a set of Tekla towels I love the red and rose set like I have a bit of a thing at the moment for pink and brown or pink and burgundy or pink and red I just think it's lush it's so nice so we bought some bath towels I actually made my boyfriend get a hand towel because I'm getting a hand towel and I was like it doesn't make sense for us to buy three towels like it's got to be four it's got to be a set surely so we've kind of bought them as a gift to each other for Christmas and then we're going to get each other something else outside of that but I just think investing in like nice towels nice bedding it's lovely speaking of bedding i saw this bedding on ruby lynn's instagram and i just thought it was so lovely it's from a brand called garter and it's the sky blue pinch bedding set i just have boring like ikea bedding and like, i want to upgrade it this garter set is a slightly higher price point but it is lovely and i think having some sort of texture on your bedding or that like pinch detail is lovely next on the list is a hooded scarf i bought one from gimaguas and i love it i wear it all the time it's just great it keeps your head warm it keeps your neck warm and it looks cool and i'm starting to see lots of brands releasing their own variations of it and i've seen eleanor butler jones i have one of her crinkle bags and i've seen on her instagram that she's made these hooded scarves they're super unique and i really like the colorways and they've got like a little um patch on them and i just think they're different and fun she's a small business independent designer she went to csm she's also just like the loveliest girl it's made using dead stock lambs wool yarn and leather offcuts from her studio so it's quite sustainable and ethical made and I just think it looks cool I went to the Paloma wall pop-up on Friday because it was its first day and I went with Susie and she bought the cuckoo headscarf hood thing it looked so cute on her and the fit was really nice and they do do a few different colorways of that as well I'm quite tempted to buy one I'm not gonna lie before I move on to my Paloma wall section of the Christmas wish list Eleanor Butler Jones is also making some crinkle headbands love a headband and her crinkle fabric is really fun it's really unique I think she's trademarked it and this is just like plain charcoal black Coupro. So I think it'd be fun to have a headband that's made from a more exciting or like textured material. I mentioned before that I'm having a bit of like a pink and brown or pink and burgundy or pink and red obsession at the moment. And Paloma Wool have made gloves and a knitted scarf and a knitted sweater in the same stripy pink and red. I tried on the scarf and I do really like the scarf, but I actually think I want the gloves more. I think the gloves are a bit more of a statement. The scarf itself was really nice and long, but I like to be able to turn my scarf into a snood and it was quite thin, so you can't do that with it. So 
I think I'd prefer to have the glove version. When I was at the pop-up, I tried on a top that I had had bookmarked. And now that I've tried it on and I know how well it fits and how much it suits me, it's on my Christmas wish list. She's a little bit expensive. I think it was 195. I absolutely adore the Plum Wool Celine earrings. They're just like big and voluminous and they do like an even bigger size. I think I just prefer the original Celine size, not the big Celine size. I think with like a slick back hairdo or even something like this, I've straightened my hair and I've got in a big headband and I just think like a massive, exciting, eye-catching earring is just like super wow and I'm really into it at the moment. Some other statement earrings that I've seen that I love and they're also on my Christmas wish list are these Bagheera orchid earrings. They just look phenomenal. Like they're so elegant and so cool and such a statement and I would love to own a pair. The next item on the list is the Nicole Saldana Fabiana shoes. They're just like the most perfect transitional Mary Jane shoe. They just look really well made and like I think that's why they're 300 pounds. <laughs> they just look super slick and I am such a big fan of these shoes. I know this goes without saying but socks and underwear are such a good stocking filler present. I remember my older brother telling me that he like got to a point in life where he really Really appreciated receiving socks and pants on Christmas because they're just something that he doesn't really enjoy buying for himself. Peachy Dan just had their three-day pop-up in Brick Lane and they had some in-store exclusive drops but I think some of those pieces are going to be dropping online this week or next. But they had their socks there and I've been waiting to get my hands on these socks. They are so cool. The burgundy plaid print pair kind of go up to your like mid-calf and then they have a black pair with grey stripes and a grey ribbon that are like full length and I bought both. I've been so excited to get my hands on these socks but I think they are such a good stocking filler and a cool sock is just a great way to elevate an outfit so I would totally recommend getting them. I think the burgundy pair is £10 and then the longer pair is £15 so keep an eye out on the Peachy Den Instagram account or website for when they go live because they're just some very good socks. So I bought some stuff in the Bell the Label Black Friday sale. I think they're pieces that I mentioned in my summer wishlist video that was like around my birthday time. I never committed to the purchase and it's been like four or five months since and I still really wanted the pieces and they were discounted on Black Friday and I need some warmer clothes because when I go to Argentina it's going to be their summer and I'm not really like mentally checked into dressing for summer well like I'm not at all because it's so cold here but I knew that I would want a few pieces just to, like refresh my wardrobe so I bought some stuff from Bell the Label but when I was on their site I noticed this top it's called the Vivere Vest in red it also comes in white and it is just stunning it looks like it fits really nicely it looks really flattering I didn't buy it in their Black Friday sale because it wasn't a piece that I had had my eye on for ages and I didn't want to buy it just because I'd seen it then and there and when I was looking at my bookmarks this morning I saw the top there and I was like I kind of wish that I bought it so it's on my Christmas wish list. I saw this picture on Instagram and I really like this whole setup. I do have some teal and like dusky blue crates in my bathroom but I think I want some red crates for like my living area. I know that hay do them but you can also get loads of like dupes. The next thing on my Christmas wish list I think is such a good present to give and to receive. I was reading an article the other day and it's completely ironic that I was reading it online but it was about how there's going to be a resurgence of print media. We get so much of our inspiration online. I know I do. I spend so much time on Instagram, on TikTok, on Pinterest, constantly saving and being inspired by and loving and hearting and reacting to things that I'm like, I'm going to come back to this later. But you're also being distracted with other things, whether it's like funny content or informative content, or if it's conversations you're having between yourself and your friends and whatever. It's nice to just have something that you're purely reading and looking at just for inspiration and filtering out everything else. And my friend told me about this subscription. It's to Stack Magazines. It's eight pounds a month and each month you receive an independent magazine. It's great to support these independent magazines, but it's also a really like satisfying, kind of like self-care process just to sit and read some print media and look at some images, whether it's a photography book or whether it's an independent magazine. There's something super ritualistic about it. And then you could also, if you wanted to, cut up the magazine, stick some things on your wall, put some things in frames, create some collages, or start stacking them and get a cool magazine holder and have them on display in your house, in your home, in your bedroom. I think if I don't receive one myself, I might just buy one for myself because nobody's gonna treat you better than you. The next thing's a little bit bougie. Um, I think they're quite expensive. I've never owned one and I've never bought one, but I went to my boss's house the other day because we did a shoot there and she had the Diptyque Pomander candle burning and it just smelled incredible and obviously a slightly more expensive candle is something you might not buy for yourself that's why it's so lovely to receive it or to give to someone else and this one just smelled incredible the next item is a complete fantasy like it's a 400 pound shoe 
but oh my god do they have me in a chokehold they're the kiguri kim shoes and i've seen them on the apox store they're lace-up mules and you can get them in cream and black and they are just super unique i love them but my god they are expensive something else i spotted on the apoc store i don't know if it's apoc or apoc i'm sure it's apoc there's the cogno men gloves they are so fun they come in great colorways and they're just like a little bit cheeky and i think they're super cool listen i am not a tat girl i wish i was but like it's just not in my blood and in my soul like it's not who i am to my core susie is like tat queen she just has like things on things if that makes sense like i have a boring phone case like right now i have a clear i think it's like a shockproof phone case because i'm scared i'm gonna smash it and my id's in the back i don't have charms on things my key rings do not have a fun little key ring on it and i really want one and there's like certain things where i'm like no i would like a little bit of tat but it just like doesn't come naturally to me like i have like one sticker on my laptop i don't collect trinkets and like that's not my vibe but i do get envious of girls who that is their vibe Brian McKee always does these really cute little trinket hauls and I think she uses them on some of her designs and like I just love it but like that's not who I am but I would like to dabble in it a bit just a little sprinkle of tat would be nice I would love a little keychain I saw these little cupid charms on Freya's TikTok and I thought they were adorable and I would love to have something like that for my keys Sunny's Angels I don't really even like know like the origin of it and I don't want to like upset anyone I think they'd be fun to use like on display on some shelves or like on my little nightstand they're super cute and like the Miffy thing everyone is like so obsessed with Miffy and like I liked Miffy as a kid I've got my childhood plate in my kitchen that is a Miffy plate that I used to have when I was a child but like I just don't have loads of Miffy things I think that's kind of it but there's this really cute baby blue corduroy Miffy plush toy on this website called Just Peachy lovely posters and prints are such a nice thing to give and receive i actually got solly this moomin print it's still in its plastic because like we don't know where to put it up and i think because we're moving we don't want to put it up and then just take it down again um and it's a very sweet little moomin print and i'll link everything that i mentioned in this video in the description below but i'll also add where i get all my prints from because i love prints the thing that we're lacking the most in our apartment is art. But I feel like any good art that I see and I like is like thousands and thousands of pounds. And prints are much more affordable and you can find one that you think is cool or have one that has a little bit of meaning behind it. The little moomin print that I got my boyfriend has a little like story behind it and it's very special. I saw these candles on a Christmas gift guide and I had to share them with you guys because they are very much now on my Christmas wish list. They're heirloom tomato candles from Shop Scandals. Next is this scarf from Pan Pan. It's the Miko Wool scarf and I cannot stop thinking about it. I just really like it. I really like the colors. I think it's really unique and it's not a scarf that I would be able to turn it into a snood, I don't think, but it's so unique that I'm willing to look past that. The next thing on my Christmas wish list is a stovetop coffee maker. I'm 26 now, so I've entered my late 20s, I guess. Does it still count as mid 20s? I want to get into better coffee because at the moment I just have the like Krups skinny machine and I don't have any spare counter space to get like a massive coffee machine and I just buy the Aldi coffee pods. But you know the difference between like a really good, nice coffee and just like some Aldi coffee pods. And I'm ready, I think, to take the next step and level up my coffee game and I really want a stovetop coffee maker. I really like the design of them and I also think that they're something that you could have like out stacked on shelves and they would look really cool. With that, I think a coffee subscription would also be great because then you could try different like beans and like flavors from all around the world. The next thing that I want is some vintage crockery. I love mix matched kitchenware. I like having different sorts of mugs and plates and bowls. I think when you have people over for dinner and everything's all different, it looks great. And when I first moved here, I started buying a few little pieces. But also the food pages that I follow on Instagram always use vintage crockery. And I just think it makes everything look so much more delicious. You can find stuff on Facebook Marketplace, on eBay and on Etsy and secondhand is best. You can even just like keep popping into your local charity shop because I feel like the ones near me always have cute little crockery sets. The next thing on my list is kind of boring but it's such a good essential. I would love a really good blow dryer. I think I have like the cheapest one that I could have found on Amazon and it takes me about half an hour to like properly blow dry my hair and it's so boring and excruciating and it's such a chore that I always like put off and then I always end up going to bed with wet hair waking up my hair is 
mental. So I know that if I had a really good one that I could just blast my hair and be done with it in like five minutes, that would just be life changing. The gym that I went to at home used to have such good hair dryers and I wish I could remember what hair dryer it was because I want to go and buy that for myself. But the one I have now is literally like someone is just like breathing on me. It's horrid. The last thing on my Christmas wish list is a new wash headband. Again, I just have some super boring ones from Amazon, they're plain, but like even the Velcro is starting to not work because I've had them and been using them for years now. And I see girls doing their get ready with me and they put on this headband and it's like so cute. I'm yet to find one that I'm like, oh my God, this is the one that I want. I've seen ones that you like pull up and you have a big bow there so you look like a little present, which I do think is cute, but I would prefer to find like a more unique one from like a small business. One thing that would be on my Christmas wish list, but isn't because I haven't found any that I like is pajamas. I don't really like the like shirt and trousers. I like like a soft slinky trouser without an elasticated waistband and like a little top, but I haven't found any that I like. So if you know where I can get some good pajamas, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching my Christmas wishes video. If you haven't already, don't forget to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.